I will say, that attempted in the actual fight, and that was to skirt around through Sudley Springs, Sudley Springs 4, Sudley Ford. And with the looks of the setup of this game, with the Confederates stacked along Bull Run, that was the only option. You weren't going south, and there's not enough time in a one-day game, a one-turn game. So we attempted to do that, and we epically failed on the night march and the any movement rolls that we took. Uh, okay, but you're saying, I mean, I, I, I don't know how you, you can't say, you, I mean, you epically failed, but I feel like you, this game is designed to work around those low moves. I mean, I don't know. I'd be interested in Patrick's, another Marislav, whoever else has played this game a lot. It's kind of like Combat Commander which another game Patrick plays, people work around those bad card pulls and the bad die rolls and they win, right? I think. I mean, I mean, because if it's just down to the die rolls and then it is almost not worth playing because it's like, well, I roll bad, so I can't win. I mean, is that, or is that just, is it, that's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because yeah. you, you can't control that, really. I, I am curious... I mean, you're right. If you just roll a bunch of ones and you can't move, then yeah, you're not going to win. But yeah, we, yeah, that's just not. I mean, we needed we needed a big burst in those night marches. Uh, it seems like it. Uh, I'm a little. I got to really read up on that night march situation. I, I guess the what is the advantage of it is that the union gets three free moves, but then you're you can't really move very far because you bunch up. Right, yeah, 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 and moving into each other with good size, you know. And I mean, these brigades were actually, I guess, decent size for early war. So, but trying to get around over there, and we just—I mean, I'm amazed that. Well, honestly, okay. So we discussed when we started this that we weren't going to have troops coming from the valley. We never did bring Elsie down, by the way. You couldn't. The, yeah, that we were never going to have troops coming from the valley because they are—they were already here. Right, and I thought to myself that that was gonna initially that was gonna make this a lot tougher, and I was, you know, where we failed in the scenario previously, we never got into Gainesville, which turns out it's only one victory point anyhow, and we got thrown out of Groveton, and as long as we held the Stone Bridge, which we did in this game as the Confederates, we. We didn't have to be aggressive with Beauregard other than to get units next to Tyler sitting in Groveton. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, Marislav says the move roll system has always been a controversy in the system. I mean, I love the move roll system. I mean, I think it's fantastic. I think that's what makes us laugh and get excited. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's awesome because, I mean, I just, so I just finished reading um, Foote's, you know, first volume. And it's just chaos, man. I mean, everyone's got an opinion. All the leaders, I mean, they're just like, what the heck? And and it just simulates so much of the set stuff. I mean, that you read them. Well, that I read them. I mean, I haven't read a bunch, and it's only one guy's, you know, history. But I don't know. So, Patrick, Marislav, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, yeah. I'm well, just... first of all, Patrick, is this game... And we're going to go dig now. You know we are. Have you ever won this from the Union side? Or does anybody know anybody that's won this from the Union side? Yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to say yes. But I have no idea, of course. Stigler real quick. Well, I, mean, I, I still say, though, that you would have had to have had better roles yeah. on the initial moves. I mean, even a, a, a four or five you know, in one of those could have been great. Yeah. Yeah. Our problem was, is the first group that moved, moved on a two. So there was no place for other troops to move around them. Yeah. I mean, and it's not like you got a lot of places to move. Spoilers. <laughs> um, We yeah. sure didn't have to do much work with the Confederate forces. We didn't have to do much work at all. 
Yeah, see, and Stigler. So I, I even love that rolling for initiative thing. I just, I, I just everything, everything I've so far, I just love about this game. I, I think I probably am less frustrated with it because Hexy and I are working on it together. So you know, it's like I'm getting my butt whooped every time. But, <clears throat> but I, I've got to think if I ever play this game seriously opposed with somebody, I just got to take that and that attitude in. It's like, hey man, you just got to roll, roll with it. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it is what it is. Like I say, you know, our first three dice rolls for, but, but again, for, Jeff, the, there are things we can do to control, like not moving Heinzelman and that crew in, not moving them in there so that keys could at least attempt it. Right. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things you can do to control right. the order you move guys. So you don't stuff up. We, we, you and I've been doing decent at that. Maybe we didn't do it right in the night March this time. Not right, but probably. Well, and what if we had to see, cause remember we had, no, it was Evans. What if we had slammed straight ahead and attacked Evans at the stone bridge initially with a larger force instead of trying to go around the outside? Yeah, so maybe maybe talk, maybe concentrate on Groveton and Stone Bridge and don't worry about Gainesville. Because think about it, Gainesville's worth one. Stone's Bridge is worth what, two? We needed six points, that's for sure. Well, if it's worth two and Groveton's worth, well, eight, and then you get a bunch of Union troops around Groveton, then you're stopping the Confederates from getting around it. Right. So maybe that's something to try there. Not, Don't worry about Gainesville because it's worth one. So what if you get... I mean, look, the chance of getting, to me, the chance of getting two sixes... Wait, you just did roll a six for initiative. That's interesting. So that would have been the second one. So the next one, you could activate, what's his name? You know, what's funny is I, I, I look at this, this map and this over, and I grew up in that area, and I'm still not far from that area. And I remember going to the battlefield and, you know, reading as much as I can. Well, you know, not as much lately, but in my younger years. And then seeing it laid out on a one on a beautiful map with understandable counters and text on the counters and knowing who all the players are and realizing how potentially dominant the position on Bull Run was for the Confederacy. And of course, they were focused on the main route there where the railroad is coming through Union Mills in the bottom half, the Orange and Alexander Railroad. Yeah. yeah. And, and how potentially strong that position really, really, really is. And understanding I don't think that McDowell's McDowell's plan was not bad in, in historic in the historical sense of how it actually happened. McDowell was twenty four hours late or twenty four to forty eight hours late. He his, he wanted to activate he wanted to execute this thing a day and a half or two days before, I believe, and he did I don't remember what the reason was. I was reading about it the other day, but he didn't do it. And we just played the scenario under that same circumstance from what I can see. And the scenario that we played before, this was the opportunity for McDowell to execute that plan earlier. And I think we had a better shot in the first scenario than we did in this one. Uh, nor these are the, most of the units are brigades um, laid out with the divisional commanders, except for in, with the Confederate ones, you had two, two district commanders. So, and then what are the strength points? Uh, equate to. Uh, that's a good question. Good question. I don't know. So why did I think it was two hundred people per number? Yeah, so you would think too. Okay, so we just other than the cas, let's take the casualties away. It was, what would we say five points. Yeah, you're talking one point. You can't. We've not blown out any of these scenarios. Well, uh, no, maybe. Well, nah, or, I think or a the first one we did, didn't we? I think a couple of them we did. Yeah, definitely the first one. Yeah, but the last two were no blowouts. Yeah, that's that's true. So there's a lot of balance to the game. And, you know, plus two, you're, 
Uh, well, I don't know about the previous setup, but the setup for this one here, this is you're this is historic. You're given the historic setup to start this thing. So, yeah, five hundred men per infantry and one point one five miles per hex. Five hundred men per infantry. So, so for each strength point, it's five hundred men, right? Yeah. So yeah, it makes it about two thousand men, and that Franklin's about one brigade there. So. Um. So and and I think it's also probably important to remember is that th this is really I I think and you and I've not played it again Patrick Myerslav and whoever else is on here has played it this really shines when you do the campaign right because then you're we'll get to that one day. what's that we'll get to that one day yeah because I because then all the stuff comes into play. You've got more units to mess with. It's like a small ASL scenario or any small scenario. Man, your dice are going to throw you off because you've only got like five guys and you lose two, you're done. It's two-fifths of your units. Here, same thing. If your dice are bad, you're, they're going to even out. But here, on one turn, I mean, yeah, you're, I, I can concede that your bad die rolls can hurt you. But if this was a campaign game, you're going to have one a turn. Is a, it's a turn a week. I feel like it turns a week. No, this was a day. You remember? Oh, that's true. It was a turn a day. Like yeah. A day, yeah, or one day turn. Uh oh, look at that. Look at Stig's comment. I know, I hear it. I saw him. He's got the old Stonewall Jackson's way. I still got the. Uh, I sold most of them the other, like, a couple weeks ago, but I still got. I got Gettysburg left. I've got uh, the Chancellorsville 